A new year with new resolutions and new seasonal servings. We're here to help you hit your goals. And coming up, I've got a balanced breakfast that you can use for those goals, seasonal serving style. A new year is here and seasonal servings has many new wonderful recipes to get you started for 2024. Maybe you're on a little bit of a health kick on this National Pie Day. Maybe you had too much pie over the holidays. That's okay, we've got you covered. We are going to sort of play around with the uh, concept of a pie and make a breakfast pie that I think will be pretty versatile and a very well-balanced meal to start off the new year. Let's start with some of the key seasonal ingredients. First and foremost, potatoes. We're going to give the spuds a little love and that's going to act as the pie crust of sorts for our breakfast pie. Some other noteworthy ingredients are leeks. Those are in season during the winter time and add a softer, more mellow flavor that I quite enjoy. And we're coming just off of the farm show, so why not showcase those delicious homegrown PA mushrooms? I love them and we're going to add them. And one final seasonal ingredient, through January, February, and even March, this surprised me, but avocado is at its best flavor during this time. So we'll have that as a little friend on the side to go with our breakfast pie. There always has to be something on the side, right friends? We'll include some other ingredients too. Of course, eggs, we're going to make this breakfast. You need some eggs in addition to peppers and some bacon. So let's get started. It's been a while since we've done breakfast, so why not? I'm a big bacon fan and I know a lot of people are. So we're going to start with some bacon, of course, in a hot pan, and then we're going to cook vegetables in it afterwards. You know you're off to a good start when that bacon goes sizzle, sizzle, and then the smell that follows after. Mm. Just enough time to avoid the grease splatter too in my face, which is also not fun. You wanna make sure that you're really crisping up this bacon because the texture might be a little off once you cook the eggs and get them nice and fluffy. So you kind of want to make sure that it has that bite to it. Time to add in our leeks. I think our bacon is starting to brown pretty nicely here. Ah yes, and we're seeing it get firmer too. So now, tis leek time. We'll throw in this delicious seasonal ingredient. Start to soak it all up there. Flavor, guys, that's flavor. No one gets left out, no one gets left behind. This will also be a good time to add our red bell pepper, just for a little more veggie action and a little more color too. Eat with your eyes first, as they say. How else are you going to make I don't know, a breakfast pie exciting. Throw in just a little more pepper here to season it. The bacon's salty enough, so I really don't think it's going to need any additional seasoning. I did not get low sodium bacon. And you don't have to cook the veggies all the way, which is the good news too, because you're popping this in the oven to cook more. Next up, mushrooms to help absorb some of the, uh, <laughs> the fat. You might notice that I didn't add any grease to this pan because I noticed some of my slices of bacon were definitely a little on the fattier side. So I'm hoping that those mushrooms will just absorb it all up. All right, I'm turning off the heat now and I'm going to shred some cheese. That just helps hold everything and bind it all together. And it adds, I don't know, deliciousness. So why not? I decided to go with a pepper jack cheese. I have definitely not been shy about the fact that I like a little kick here on seasonal servings. So what I'm going to do is shred roughly a cup or so of cheese. And then we're going to add it all in as well. Not into this mixture, the egg mixture. 
we combine everything together. If there is another cheese of preference, of course, you can use a cheddar, maybe a nice sharp cheddar just to add some more flavor. Or you can just skip it all together if you want to do that. The great thing about a recipe like this, and this is what I like, you can take out ingredients and add something in instead. You don't like bacon? Fine, add sausage. Cheese is shredded now. Veggies and bacon are cooling down. Now we can move onward to the next part. I got five eggs here, and I also have one tablespoon of heavy cream. I seasoned it with a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. I didn't go overboard though because I knew my vegetables were going to be seasoned as well. So what I'm going to do now is add them in, combine them, make everybody this wonderful, happy little family. Everybody friendly in there and incorporate the cheese. It's the final touch for our mixture. All right, we'll put that aside now and move on to the next part. The next part is going to be our potatoes. Now, we shredded our own here because this is seasonal servings. We have to do this the right way. So I got about three medium-sized potatoes. Of course, you take off the skin, and then I shredded them using that same cheese grater. Like you're making hash browns and then you're going to need to put them in a colander so that you can drain the liquid from them. Otherwise, this is going to be a hot mess in the oven and it will not come out right. So you do that by salting them, mixing it up, letting it sit for maybe 10, 15 minutes or so, maybe 20 minutes to be safe, and then you squeeze out all the liquid and get it all out. And then you're left with shredded, hash brown-ish sort of well, potato shreds. And that's what's going to be our pie crust as we talked about earlier. So, I've got butter, I've got olive oil. We're going to heat that up here and just melt it. We are going to use that to help add some flavor to our potatoes, but it's also going to help crisp them up too on the bottom. We don't want soggy hash browns here as our base. I mixed it with a neutral oil too. I used avocado oil, but you can use vegetable oil. I personally just don't like the flavor of vegetable oil. And what I'm going to do is lay it out like you would a pie crust. And make sure it's a thin layer. You don't want it too thick. Again, we want to make sure that this is as crispy as possible. This will end up being about one and a half to two cups in total for a nine inch pie dish. And then the final step, of course, just adding it in. In we go. Ah, just enough. All right, the hard part is officially done. Now we can bake at 375 degrees. And when I see you next, we'll slice up some avocado, we'll cut up some breakfast pie, and we're gonna have taste test time. The best time of this segment. Mwah. Welcome back to Seasonal Servings, everyone. The breakfast pie, it is officially out of the oven and it is ready for some tasting. But first, we're going to include one more seasonal ingredient in addition to the potatoes, the leeks, and the mushrooms already included in this. And this one's going to be on the side. It's avocado. Mentioned it earlier, believe it or not, avocado is at peak flavor in January, February, and March. So I'm just going to cut it as I normally would. I'll have some slices and drizzle it with hot sauce. It's one of my favorite ways to have avocado. There we go. Look at that, already one side, and we'll get rid of this pit here. And whoop, happens. So slice it and dice it nicely. I prefer a dice, but to make it look pretty, I guess I'll slice it up lengthwise and then crosswise. All right, breakfast pie, it's here, it's beautiful. It's ready for some cutting. I think it was about, oh, 40 minutes or so. I let it go a little longer and it was covered because I wanted it nice and crispy, the potatoes on the bottom to get so nice and crispy. 
And now it's pie, we are going to give it a try. Okay, maybe not too crispy at the bottom, which is fine because I don't like burnt either. <sighs> Let's see, hmm, hmm. How to cut your pizza pie, how to cut any pie, how to cut your breakfast pie. I think we'll do sixths. All right, I got my perfect little piece right here. Oop, oop. Crispy on the sides. There we go, let's see. Oh, brown on the bottom, crispy, crispy. Exactly what we want. Plate that right there. And now we drizzle the hot sauce. And you don't have to have the avocado if you don't like avocado. I know a lot of people, avocado can be an acquired taste or just not a taste at all for you, and that's fine. There are seasonal fruits like tangerine or clementines that you can have on the side instead and still get a nice fruit in. Apples, of course, they're in season all year round for us. That's also another option, but I thought maybe after the holidays and the apple pies and whatnot, maybe we wanted a break from the apples for a little bit. But yes, avocado, I think it's great on the side. Avocado and eggs, perfect. And speaking of perfect, tis time for the perfect bite. Apparently I was French for a hot moment there in attempt to be. Ooh, hot. Maybe I should let this cool a little longer. Oh well, bad decisions are made with food sometimes. Mmm. I um, didn't burn my mouth, so that's good. Hot sauce burning, also good. Absolutely delicious. Now I need a bite of avocado because I love my avocado with hot sauce. Mmm. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm point. Ooh, hot sauce kicking in the back of my mouth there a little bit, but that's okay. Yes, the great part about this too, I think I mentioned this earlier, but the great part is that it's customizable. You can take veggies that you don't like out of it. You can put veggies that you do enjoy in it. You can take out the bacon. You don't have to add any meat to it. It could just be vegetables. It could just be cheese. It could be just vegetables and no cheese. You can add bacon, take bacon out, and put in sausage instead. Whatever, that's what I love about this. As always, I'll be sure to get this recipe posted on our website, fox43.com, and if you have any ideas that you'd like to see me try, or a seasonal ingredient that you want to see taken care of or learn how to use, send me an email to amichaels at fox43.com. And until we are back in the Fox 43 kitchen, cooking up our next seasonably, seasonally inspired meal, be sure to, as always, Eat with the season, my friends, and enjoy.